Hello friends and welcome to Tour Mangaluru. In this video we will go on a ferry ride from Mangalore port to Bengare. The ferry ride costs about 10 bucks one way and is usually available till 10 pm in the night. You can see the ferry just arriving to Mangalore from Bengare side. You can see the locals jumping off the boat even before it's properly docked. But I advise you save yourself from that temptation. Off we go to board the boat. Here is the ticket collect. Prefer to take the seat towards the bow instead of the stern as it gives a better spot for shooting the video. You can see the helm span cabin will drive the boat. You can see all the trawlers anchored at the old port and, and there on the other side is the nearby sandbar. And thus our journey across the nearby backwaters begin. We are going towards the left hand side, however, if we proceed north towards the right hand side, we did reach the Nirbhavi beach on the left and Sultan Battery on the right. Please note that if you are travelling in a group, it is well advised not to mass on one side of the boat since it can easily capsize the boat, overloading weight into one point. Hence, you will find the conductor asking you to proceed in a single file, distributing the weight evenly across the vessel. This ferry line may be considered to be a lifeline quick way of travelling for the residents of Bengare to Mangalore. Bengare is also connected by city bus route, albeit very few buses and far apart timing. Incidentally, I took the ferry across Kurpur river, also known as Tanirbhavi backwaters, to visit Bengare beach, also known as Tanirbhavi endpoint. That cupola that you see is of Rosario Cathedral, located in Pandeshwar, just beside a forum mall. It is the oldest church in Karnataka and also the only cathedral in the city. It also has the stone emblem of the King of Portugal installed by the first sailors who reached Manglo in the 15th century.